Chat, I know Dan is in chat, and he's stirring up riffraff. I sent him a message in Discord that was like, if you want to fish, please come and fish. So now I'm putting the ball back in his court and making him the bad guy. But anyway, we're going to start with Ultimate Fishing Simulator. Dan, you should not come in any fish. <laughs> He's a... Uh, that was going to go down the wrong direction. <laughs> What I was going to say is he's a married man. He can come in whatever he wants. But <laughs> okay. It, oh, yeah. That's... It doesn't make sense for a variety of different reasons. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. This is why a female perspective was brought on, actually. Dude, I, I know. <laughs> but Hafu has betrayed us for, you know, her favorite game, Arts. which makes perfect sense in hindsight. But yeah, You want to know the worst way to learn that you're seasick mm. or that you get seasick? The, the Did somebody say they want a white guy to stick their dick in a fish? Oh. Yeah. Mathis? What? <laughs> so, what are you doing? I don't know. Just saying hi. How's it going? Hey, Mathis. How's Deep. fishing? Well, we haven't even started yet. Sweet. I have fishing. You have the oh. game? Yeah. Dude, please do. Sick. There's only Let's one uh, stipulation, though, and that's that you have to leave in an hour. Oh, uh, I was going to just bounce. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> that's the, math, just... the Mathis class. Wait, what are we doing? Join for a mid segment. Golf, and then... I don't want to golf with you fuckers. Yeah, Plus, sure. you know, Tower Unite takes like half an hour to load. I know it's hard for you to true. Yeah. hard for you to take Tower that time Unite. out of your day when you've got eighty D and D games to run and <laughs> all the podcasts and et cetera, et cetera. Did someone say honker? <laughs> okay, hello, <laughs> hello, hello, Daniel. It's uh, sorry, it's Dan, Dan. I took as well. Well, it's a, it's a massively multiplayer game. So if you are interested in in oh joining, you just let me know. I sent you a Steam message that says, Daddy, invite me. <laughs> I got a what few casts in me. Why do you like a normal human being in Discord? <laughs> am, I, am I picking normal or realistic for this? Everybody garbage? should probably Normie. take normal. <laughs> this oh, shit is more complicated than, point. like, Star Citizen. It, dude, this game but is it's no finished, fucking too. joke. <laughs> oh, here it is. Hey, Dan, how's it going? I haven't talked to Mathis in years and just firing shots. <laughs> I, ha I have a little Star <laughs> Citizen. <laughs> years. <laughs> Some Star Citizen related uh, banter for you as well. Oh shit! You're gonna love this. So there's a movie okay. theater in uh, Vancouver that I won't movie call out theater. by name, but basically, uh -huh. you know, like the people who owned the building the movie theater it was in were like, "Please, our building is gonna kick us out unless we can buy it from them for like 4.5 million dollars." <laughs> they raised a bunch of money from the city to buy the building. Not from the city, but like from the citizens as a private business to buy the building. They bought it and then they're like, oops, we forgot about the property tax. So they're now running a petition to get tax exempt status from the government. And every comment in the like our Vancouver thread about it is like, this is Star Citizen all over again. <laughs> every single one is like, it's just, we just need a little bit more money if we could. Just the way, if you want the capital ships in the game, it's just a little bit more money, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I so mean, I, when do I hit C again? Do I just it's completely oh, voluntary? And <laughs> wait, did you get a piece of that Kickstarter action? Absolutely <laughs> not. No, you thought about it. You'd be like, no, hey, I'm gonna have my own seat in the theater. Yeah. No, it was a thousand dollars, and I'm not even messing with you. They give you a free movie ticket of your choice. One? It just well, yeah. That's the wow. thing. Is like they they can't afford to give you too much because the business was in trouble, right? Jesus Christ. Well, what if I, like, you know, gave him, like, a hundred bucks? Can I not get, like, free refreshments for life? Probably not, no. Oh, fuck them. Wow, that is awful. I don't think you would get anything. You you might get a thank you. That is hilarious. Oh, I hate this part. It happens to the best of us, Rob. Yeah. The part where you're, like, fishing? No, I gotta catch this fucking fish in the... Oh, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta catch it in the net. It's freaking impossible, dude. Look, it's 10.68 kilograms. A new I, record. All, it, all right, Chad. It, bitch. You get 30 seconds. <laughs> Listen, Seem, me seems here? good to keep it alive. Dan's game to mount it on the wall. The fish escape, no strike? What the fuck mount are you talking it. about? Seems good to release Dan's game to mount. Mount it. <laughs> the donker that mounted the world. <laughs> 10.68 kilograms. 0. 0.42, this might as well be bait. <laughs> <laughs> Can right. I pause it back and use right, it to get this... the bigger bait? Oh, hello, Dan. You trying to uh, creep uh... on my honker spot? <laughs> <laughs> like, you I want your rod to yeah. be, like, friggin' monka S. 
Yeah. <laughs> turn turn your rod into Monka S, and then give it a little slack and reel them in. You turn your rod at Monka. Oh, can I get M space U space N space K space A? Because that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> is it Monka or Monka? I say Monka. It's Monka, I think. What does that mean? Uh oh. What doesn't it mean? You know. It's a boy, right? Monka and by a boy, a boy, I mean a, a human being. All right, come on. I see you fish. <laughs> But Can you guys, could you eat a worm? Yes. Yeah. Could you eat a worm on stream? I could. Is not TOS? What's it? Yeah, probably not. Dude, people are eating Carolina Reapers on stream. If they can eat yeah, a pepper true. that could stop your heart, I'm sure I could eat a worm. What do you mean stop your heart? Melf's growing them in his backyard. <laughs> Yord. Wait, he really, You? they could stop your heart? I don't know, like, it feels like they could stop your heart, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> big fish big little boys vagina. fish vagina no little chi I didn't say fish vagina <laughs> no why are you talking about use, fish vaginas you don't use their vaginas you use their mouths come on Mathis well oh, hey what's up man <laughs> you're gonna lose your overlay spot <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't lost it already <laughs> if you be honest keep saying stuff like that you're like twice a year that is true what brought it on today I was bored Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is Giannis. It's, it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity to be on one of Twitch's top 75 shows in its top time 75? slot. Come on, give me, it's like top 50. <laughs> well, it depends what we're playing. You only, get <laughs> <invites> to, <laughs> you only get invites to parties in top 25, though. Dude, I didn't get invited to the Twitch party at PAX West. That's what I'm saying. You're not, not top 25. No, didn't get invited, no bounties. Like, I'm starting to... Realize that's why you gotta go to you gotta go to TwitchCon. You are automatically well, invited to that part. I am going. I guess that's fair. They are paying for me to go to TwitchCon. I also have a garbage <laughs> laptop that I bought because it was insanely cheap. Yeah, it like sucks. It's it's <laughs> Do you very ever bad. Use it? <laughs> uh, I use it for programming, but even for that, it's gotten okay. a little too slow. The A C sharp Java colon. <laughs> When's the next uh, Zachtronics game? Uh, it Wait. came out about a week ago. Oh shit! <laughs> I haven't seen it on your channel yet. Oh uh, well, then you haven't been looking. I, well, that's true. <laughs> well, ouch! I did. <laughs> Welcome to the show, man. Yeah, I really appreciate it. <laughs> right, and then your building. Look at my videos, either. Your building supervisor comes and goes. Uh, you know, oh, when's the? You know, the pipes are frozen over here, and you're talking to them <laughs> on the show. Were. No, my AC keeps breaking. It, it like it broke two days ago. The guy came over. He's like, "There's just junk in the wire," and it can, he connected it, and it worked for a day, and now it's broken again. It's just oh, dang, it's that's just a dying. riveting story. Thanks, man. That's Thank you. <laughs> no yeah, these are trash. I don't want these trash. Hi, friends. Bear attack. Hello. Bear. Oh, hi there. Hello. Pull up the lure, bear. <laughs> Turns out what we needed to bring everyone together was fish. <laughs> Dude, so I just want to dive into the pond and grab things with my bare hands. Is that an option? Bare hands! You're a bear. Bare hands! Um, would you like an invitation, Bear Taffy? I sure would, yeah. <laughs> friends? Dude. Don't let friends fish by themselves. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm bear. wandering around in the open multiplayer lobby, and I I'm just think walking... you need to leave that in order to receive this invite. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that now. And Can once I you've done that, I will invite you. Yeah, right, yeah, go ahead. Okay. And if you don't receive that, you let me know. Mm-hmm. Everybody's on this rock over here. Is this like the place to you be? You can't this is why I can't catch anything anymore, is you guys took my spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's Casterly Rock. <laughs> At level three. I didn't I love that realize. Pun. Yeah, Anyone? until now I didn't realize that that was a pun. It's a pun. It's beautiful. Also, like Austin fire. said it hooked me in earlier. I didn't know if he re realized it either. Oh, I got a brook trout. I didn't realize it. Oh, a brook a trout. To... <laughs> Man, okay. we don't do that. that <laughs> was on this show. <laughs> like, he just Who did Mr. That? Toshi. He did Who the Mr. That? Toshi bit on the Japanese one. Yeah, yeah, he did it, yeah. <laughs> I never Toshi? thought we'd, we'd hear Mr. Toshi. That's the first time. Mm -hmm. I it doesn't known. excuse Mathis, but he is playing Shenmue right now. It is true. <laughs> Shenmue no, 1 and is 2. Like weirdly racist by itself. Uh, is it racist if it is a Japanese game that takes place <laughs> well, in Japan starring a well, Japanese Well, the, the person? racist part is when they're like, oh, you need to talk to this person. They're Chinese. Wait, wait. You need to go talk to the Chinese people in the Chinese restaurant where all the Chinese people are. 
Mm. Wait, can you? That's not what the voice sounds like in the game, though. Actually, yes. <laughs> I, have English, I have English dubs on, and it's just terrible voice acting. So it's great. Well, what does it sound like? Like, well, worse than what I just said. So they're like, "Oh, you are looking for the Chinese people. They work in a Jiishi restaurant where all the other Chinese people are." I'm like, oh, all right. I guess I'm just gonna go there. You drink Blue Moon? Where do you go? Harvard? <laughs> <laughs> Blue Moon with an orange slice? <laughs> I had a friend like that in college. We'd all be I drinking. I was that friend. Were you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> this guy sucked even more than you did. <laughs> even more? <laughs> We'd always be like, uh, you know, we had, we had like the cheapest beer that money could buy, and he would show up with the one that was one tier higher. Right. Instead yeah, of a dollar, yeah, it was like a yeah, dollar yeah. thirty and tasted <laughs> exactly the same. <laughs> Is the when same did you friends. all have your first drink? Uh, I was seven. What was it? Like, like to get drunk? No, no, just like your first <laughs> al- alcoholic beverage of your own accord. Not like mom let you have a sip of wine or something. Mm. Oh. Like, what was your first drink and what was it? If you remember, I was I seventeen, was... and okay. it was my first week of being in the dorms in college. Mm. And I went to this dorm room for this dude who was like the son of a Jordanian like oil executive. And he had all of like the the alcohol you would expect a seventeen year old spoiled kid to have. He's like, I got Goldschlager and Disarono Amaretto and like Sourpuss, and I was like, uh, Sure, I'll have a I'll have a Dr Pepper and Amaretto, please. Very sophisticated drink for a sophisticated man. And uh, well, yeah. similarly, I had a very sophisticated drink. I drank um, a forty of Colt forty five at fourteen. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Hell yeah. Damn. Damn. <laughs> it's a good time. I think uh, I was 17 as it? well, and it was just whatever was available at the beer pong table. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Colt 45 thick? <laughs> THL. No. Like, I'm not sure what that means. Thick. Like, it's like drinking syrup. No. no. What? Gross. Yeah. It's, it it is kind of. Isn't it a malt liquor? It yeah, is. It's malt liquor, yeah. Yeah. It's very sweet, I would say, but it's not. It's well, I mean, I, yeah, I wouldn't even call it sweet. I would call it like I don't know what to say. Like, it's like piss. It yeah, it's like, like acid. it's like something's yeah. wrong. It's like they dissolved a candy bar in it, but it doesn't taste like sugar. It just tastes like yeah. something went wrong. Oh, that's a yeah, honker. I was twenty years old, mm. and my friend <laughs> was like, you little bitch. "Yeah, my friend was like, you're not waiting till you're twenty-one." So come over and we'll have a drink. And it was a shot of Everclear. Oh my God. Uh, yep. That's, that's a water. terrible start. He made uh, me practice shots with Kool Aid and water first. You're not supposed to. <laughs> That'll even, warm you up. You yeah. don't take yeah. shots like, of Everclear. Go, like it strips the mucus lining <laughs> of your throat because it's 99% like, yeah. uh, alcohol or something. Don't think about it. Just swallow, which is great life advice for those out there who just. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, uh, he, so right. he made me practice. He made me practice. And then I. We finally got to the shot, and I, as the minute it touched my tongue, I just it sat in my mouth, and I just oh. put it in, and it just sat there for like a good twenty seconds before I was finally oh. able to put down it, and it just burned the entire time. I wanted to vomit. Yeah, yeah it's extremely awesome. sucks. Yeah, that's I was terrible, terrible twenty four. Really, really, yeah. More, more men. More men. Please right. tell me it was not with David. No, because that, <laughs> that, that would be a <laughs> magical night. Extremely rude awakening. Oh, David. <laughs> well, that, was, that was probably like the seventh or eighth time that I'd been drinking. So mm. you're, he was fine in that regard. I, that was the first time I got a hangover, though. And yeah. I thought I had been poisoned or something. <laughs> That's Who's right. David? Yeah. Context? Who's David? Uh, oh, a David. Good buddy. Yeah, he's, he's a friend of ours. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Does he have a name? He's yeah, somebody that I, I I pay him David. to be my friend. Uh, Dude, no, but does he have an re- internet name? Uh, D Mart. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I was 24. It was, uh, you know, it was, it was a deliberate thing to oh. stay sober up till that point. But then we mm. just went to a party with some buds, and I got drunk off two beers. <laughs> <laughs> And that really hasn't changed, to be honest. I'm still quite a bit of a lightweight when it comes to alcohol. It was so weird. The first time I I drank, I drank the most I still have ever had in one night, and I've never been able to match it. 
What could really? you do more of? Shots or nugs? Uh, <laughs> nugs, 100%. Yeah, that's, that's still nugs. That's an easy one. I mean, dude, 19 shots is that's a lot. lot of shots. That's, yeah, that's, that's how you die. <laughs> that's a potentially <laughs> yeah, lethal yeah. amount of shots. That's how you yeah. get alcohol poisoning. <laughs> yeah. What happened to Dan? Yo, yo, I, I caught my honkers for the day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to jet, but... The Rip. pleasure was all mine. Thank oh, you. For thanks for thanks for being here. It was wait, good wait, to play Dan. games with you again, Dan. Dan, yeah, yeah. before you go, you didn't tell us when you had your first alcohol. Hey, I'll see you guys next yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Check out my new podcast on iTunes later. <laughs> it's probably last packs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. All right, time for virginity stories, everybody. Let's go. No, oh, yeah, that'll that. be fun. Am I when when I was younger? Before. Never got hangovers. Never. Mm. Oh yeah, I is still. That, is that the same for you guys? Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I, I get hangovers every time I drink, and it's awful. My drinking effects are of the same night when I vomit everywhere. That's that's what happens. Mm. Good times. I've yeah. only been hungover twice. Really? Really? Yeah. I don't. I don't drink. I don't like drinking, and I learned very quickly I hate being drunk. So. It sounds I think like you kind of just had like I'm realizing you had just the worst possible exposure to alcohol imaginable. Yeah, yeah your yeah. first experience I think is. I mean, there you know him. It's Scott's. Fault. Oh yeah, I, I, th I actually <laughs> assumed it was Scott. Yeah, it was Scott's <laughs> fault, 100. <laughs> percent Honestly, like hearing your guys' story makes me feel like I was an alcoholic for a period of time. To well, be honest with I mean, you. well, the first step is acceptance. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely never got drunk at the age of 14. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you there. That's pretty normal, actually. In was, New York City, probably. I yeah. wouldn't say that 14 is abnormal, but I do think it's younger than average. Yeah. Might have been 13. <laughs> then, <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe possibly 12. <laughs> <laughs> How many fish do you guys think you could recognize uh, just on looking at the fish? Like... Maybe uh, two. two. I was gonna yeah. say the baseline is actually probably like ten. You're you're gonna recognize a swordfish. Oh yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Right. You're gonna recognize those huge ocean sunfish and like a puffer yeah. fish, the angler Trout, fish, salmon. Well, oh, I, I think you could. Or like a yeah, catfish. What is it? Probably clownfish, Nemo. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know, man. I guess ooh, how many how many freshwater fish do you think you could recognize? I don't even know if I could tell you if a fish was freshwater or saltwater. Yeah, out <laughs> of the fish that you named, I don't know. <laughs> I, I assume larger fish are saltwater fish. Yeah, swordfish is a saltwater. Yeah, fish, right? nobody's yeah. catching swordfish Correct. in there. Like the <laughs> pond behind their house. It'd be pretty dope. If we, man, if we got a swordfish here, that'd be pretty sweet. Dude, you can catch fish over 100 kilograms in this game. So what? Like you got to net them though, yeah, right? Well, be yeah. the Hulk? Not in this lake as well, but like you can. There, some of the lakes, there's like maybe 11 or 12 lakes in the game. But, you guys ever eat uh, ever eat swordfish? Uh, I have yeah, eaten it once. Is yeah. Is it good? Yeah, yeah well, I it, love swordfish. It's an endangered species, so like. Hush, hush. Oh, it makes it <laughs> tastier. Yeah. Oh my God, these honkers are coming out of nowhere, dude. Man, you've been admitting to a lot of crimes on today's episode. <laughs> it's right? not a crime. It was served at a restaurant in Asia. <laughs> well, like your crimes, I guess. <laughs> Maybe that's what dark tourism is all about. Uh, <laughs> Black mirror. It. But like, I saw it on the menu, and it was like, you know, Chilean swordfish, and I was like. That sounds delicious. And then I ate it, yeah. and I was like, that was delicious. And then I went home and I uh, Wikipedia it, and I was like, this. There's like, Shocking. you know, eleven thousand <laughs> of these left on planet Earth. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Ooh, two kg. Oh, you're right. I was thinking of sea bass, Chilean sea bass. Chilean sea bass. Yeah, we don't know shit about fish. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> well, I had a sea bass story, and I had to tell it. Okay. All right. Ooh, so, okay. Yeah. It packs east. Uh, I don't even know if Mathis was there. I don't think he was, but I remember we hung out with Mathis at some point. Either yeah, that's way, how you know nice. you were bored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, so we went to you know that really old fishing oh. uh, seafood restaurant. What's it called? Legal. I'm pretty seafood. sure I was with you on this. Maybe you were. It was uh, what's that old one? It's like yeah, Union Oyster House. From, yeah, that's the yeah. one. So we had this waitress, and yeah. I was like, I'll have the sea bass. <laughs> 
<laughs> and she's like, all right, one C base. <laughs> and I was like, I was like what, uh, uh, she walked yeah. away. Yeah, and then she looked at each other. Like, yeah, yeah. And I like, think somebody that? else got wrong? it. So she's like, yeah, two C base. And we were like, oh, maybe she just said it wrong. And then she came back and she's like, here's your base. And then I was confused <laughs> if I was the one who was wrong. Oh, it's definitely Bass. She's yeah. got to be fucking with you, right? No, she just seemed kind of stupid. Wow. No, that's, wow. that's like, there's no way she she's seemed not like a nice lady. Oh, yeah. Think. Nice as heck. You should have, for a tip, written down is pronounced base. <laughs> <laughs> but don't, like, like, don't do it phonetically. Just write out the word. Yeah, write the word again. She's like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the manager of the restaurant pulling like a wimp low on her, like teaching her wrong on purpose just to fuck with people. What is a wimp low? That's a Kung Pao reference. Kung Pao. Oh, you known. taught him wrong as a joke. You guys want to just do three hours of fishing sin? Because I kind of do. I think we should definitely do like at least two hours. Because like, okay. I mean, we play golf like a hundred times. Yeah. Like, maybe maybe three hundred times actually. This so. is chill. This is fun. I feel yeah. that I'm still gonna go pee in seven minutes. Because... That's completely fair. Oh, I'm still gonna run ads too. Because like. I mean, <laughs> man's gotta eat, but yeah. gotta gotta double that. Uh, like, well, no, you mean Nick's gotta eat? Yeah, that's Nick's what I mean. Man. Nick's gotta eat. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say which man. <laughs> All men have be, to I'll eat. Have... Fucking thing is an upgrade, or it seems like it's a not. Upgrade. Robert, you will catch the largest honker. All right. Oh yeah, he's honking me. Can I explain right. why I hate Ryan real quick? Oh please. <laughs> yeah. It's on Tuesday, Dan says caught a honker, and Ryan goes, "Don't say that." Yeah. Wednesday NLSS got the biggest honker. <laughs> Dan doesn't know what I'm saying, and as a result, it can't hurt him. Fair point. I'm when you hit like a new number, that's like a big thing. That's like when you have a midlife crisis. I I don't think thirty though. I think midlife crisis is like fifty now, because we're gonna yeah. live to be a hundred at least. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say at thirty. I'd be very lucky if 30 is midlife for me. No, that's <laughs> there's still time, Robert. I mean, I don't know. I got my gallbladder out this year, and I got my toenails removed. You got your toenails removed? <laughs> removed? Yeah. I wasn't ready for the second. I mean, they're growing back. Why did you Wh have to why? get your toenails removed? Or All right. So <laughs> let me tell you a story. Uh, I had my my shoes a little too big. And so I think they would push my toenails back when I'd walk and I'd okay. just go walking like every day. And then they started getting inflamed around the, the nail bed, like the bottom of the nail. Uh -huh. And I was like, all right. So I went to the doctor like, oh, soak them in Epsom salts. So I'm like, all right, I'll do that. So I would soak them in Epsom salts. Newsflash. It didn't do anything. <laughs> so they got infected. And then that got really bad. because then they got swollen. I got irritated. It was really bad. And then uh, went to a foot doctor and he's like, yep, we're going to have to take those toenails off. <laughs> and oh, uh, You didn't soak them in Epsom salts, did you? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I asked him, I was like, well, is it going to be painful? And he's like, oh, no. And I was like, is it worse to get in a catheter? Because I had to get a catheter when I what? got my gallbladder out. <laughs> Another oh. fun story. Uh, if you want to hear that one after. Uh, but I was, I was, he's like, no, I've had one of those. It's better than that. He was right. It, was, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> he just numbs the toe, and then they just, you know, rip them off, wrap you up. Uh, and you wait. Uh, God. Uh, they numbed the toe. Anything. They numbed the toe. It's, you don't it's feel less, anything. Yeah, it's it's less about the, the pain, but, like, just the visual of your well, toenail. The other anymore. thing is I was thinking about, like, like, you touched the spot where the nail was after, right? Yeah. How did that feel? It's kind of weird. Well, you had to, like, take a shower. There's still, like, part of the nail growing back, so it's, like, a fourth of the nail. And so the rest of it's, like, not covered, so you gotta, like... When the water hits it, it's kind of like, ooh! You know, it, like, makes you jump a little bit. Well, that skin has never felt sensation. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So now, it doesn't... I don't even feel it at all. Like, the nail's halfway grown back, but, like, it kind of looks a little weird, and then, I don't know. I don't how know long, how it works. It's just how long does it take to for it to fully grow back? Like seven months. Wow. Yeah, but I mean, I can walk. I can exercise. Like I can press on it right now. I'm pressing it. Oh, no, please hurt. stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now to the Excuse catheter me. story. So <laughs> I uh, 
I uh, had to get a catheter because when I got my gallbladder out, they're like, all right, just pee. And I couldn't pee. Uh, and oh. apparently that's pretty important. And so uh, <laughs> they're like, just go home and you'll be fine. So I went home and I tried to pee and I couldn't pee. I was not fine. So I was like, all right, well, I had to go back to the ER. And then they're like, we have to put a catheter in. So uh, this nurse is just like, you ever have one of these? I'm like, no. And she's like, all right, breathe in. That's <laughs> never a good sign. Yeah. They, just, you know, they shove it up there. Oh boy, yeah, I don't like that at all. So it's great to you know not have to pee anymore uh, because your bladder's released, but like you got a tube up there. So then for like a day and a half, it carry around your pee bag, but it makes <laughs> you realize how much you actually urinate. Like that, mm. it's constantly just pumping out urine. Yeah. Well, that sounds horrible. <laughs> well, then they got to yeah. pull it out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, uh, you were worried about my, you know, alcohol story. <laughs> it's kind of like, all right, I compared it to getting a band aid ripped off, but in your ding dong. <laughs> yeah. It's, <laughs> it's just like that. It's really not fun. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds real bad, honestly. Uh, yeah. So that's been my year so far. That's been great. All right, man. congrats. Yes. So yeah. yeah, chat. If you want advice, uh, don't get older. <laughs> it right, sucks. pretty much. Yeah. It just gets worse and worse, and it doesn't get better. And yeah. uh, then you die. Yep. I'm mad. What's up, Corey? Oh. Corey's been on the lake for like ten minutes, by the way. <laughs> Hanging out. <laughs> oh really? Why is he not in the call? Oh, he is he, now. He is. I'm, I'm talking. Oh. Oh, well, <laughs> hey, uh, I said Corey. I was gonna go pee and I cast the line out again. <laughs> God damn I it! A, I caught a honker, but he—I don't know how to reel in, man. Hey, Corey, Left mouse button. Uh, what What's I would up? like to know is, yeah. uh, where'd you put the fucking gabagool? Corey's not Italian. I think it's in my Italian hoagie. <laughs> Hoagies are good. Corey's it's from gabagool. a different part of the world. Did they say gabagool for? I've heard. I've heard capacol. Yeah. 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 Little gabagool. This yeah, my family does say sausage and uh, what does that mean? Sausage. Sausage. So they say sausage. <laughs> sausage. Yeah. Sausage. Yeah, you get a couple of sausage. Put them in the. Uh, ah, when well, you say it like that. Yeah. Can I, can I ask Rob a question? Yeah. yeah hit me. Why is pasta fajul spelled the way it is? I don't know. Can I ask Corey a question? Italian, what is? Yeah. Pasta fajoule? It's like a soup pasta. Soup uh, pasta? Yeah, yeah. That sounds terrible. It's a it's liquid like noodle? F A G I O L E. Yeah, it's spelled not great. Oh, am I going to get him? <gasps> Aw. I thought it was a honker. <laughs> it's like real life when I grab my honker and I expect it's going to be a big one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm disappointed. Yeah. Not this the is why... a big honker. I've unfollowed Mathis on Twitter. Mm, that's <laughs> very sensible. What, my, my father died. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> whatever, whatever, he, whatever the don't, title of his video listen, was. Listen, homie. No, was like, don't don't hate the player. Hate the game. <laughs> He's like, my the dad. Algorithm. I was like, oh, no. Then I was like, oh, it's just a fucking video. Hell, <laughs> yeah, dude. Did you really call <laughs> a video my father died? <laughs> Hell, yeah, I did. Christ. Of course I did. Uh, I typed it in chat. My shit. Making fun of Mathis and chat was like, Corey, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mathis actually owns BuzzFeed now. Uh, I do. <laughs> oh yeah, and Crendor. I've uh, I had my toenail ripped off last year. Oh, oh shit, dude! You guys gotta stop. Why did you need it off? Yeah, what did you do? Uh, like, so a long time ago, I far, far injured, away. injured my toe. <laughs> uh, like I, I was kicking a soccer ball, and instead I kicked a metal grate under the soccer oh. ball. <laughs> And separated my toenail from my, oh. my toe. Oh my and, god! Uh, never been oh. right since. <laughs> so oh, you say that it, again. it just didn't. Yeah, it didn't grow back right. And then like I went to the doctor, like, oh, that's because you have a damaged nail matrix. And uh, <laughs> oh, it's probably, nail Jesus. matrix. <laughs> probably it's probably fucked for the rest of your life. I was like, oh, cool. They're like, we that's recommend fun. ripping it off. I was like, okay, that sounds is fine. That, is that just not going to come back? Yeah. Now? No, no, no. So they they took it off, and uh, it is. It's it's why is my guy turned around looking back? Uh, it's growing back, but 
I, I fainted when they gave me the nose. <laughs> 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 oh, I have a little God. bit of little bit of a needle phobia. Mm, mm. Really? And uh, yeah, so like I get like a like I go into shock real fast. Mm. I, like I didn't a panic know people attack. actually fainted. I thought that was just encouraging. Dude, dude, it's so <laughs> weird because, like, I told her, I'm like, you know, I got this thing with needles. <laughs> and, like, just be prepared. And, like, she gave me the, the lidocaine or whatever it is to numb my toe. Yeah. And, which is extremely painful, by the way. Like, getting Yeah, it is actually get, pretty painful. Getting a needle in your toe sucks. They do it yeah, twice. It sounds awful. Yeah, getting a needle anywhere, like, small is just not Yeah, good. it's real yeah. bad. And then they put, like, a lot of fluid in, right? So it's... yeah. Like swells too. Dude, I, but, I had to uh, get a shot in my ass one time. <laughs> By choice? <laughs> Was it a hunker? <laughs> Dude, I, I used to, the doctor I used to go to, like, made needles so easy because what she did <laughs> is. <laughs> I'm gonna pay. <laughs> Dude, uh, so what she would do is she would just like pinch your skin and kind of like oh, wiggle, yeah, it, yeah, wiggle yeah. it a little bit, you know, and it would just numb it out and put the needle in. Wouldn't even notice. But yeah, anyway, so she 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 injected my toe, you know, went went numb, whatever. And I'm sitting there and I'm like on my phone, trying to distract myself. Thirteen point eight three. <laughs> and then I just feel my That's blood insane. pressure tank. That's huge. That's enormous. So like the thing where people it fears of like blood too. Uh, maybe I don't know. All I know is I was looking at Twitter and I was like, I don't feel so hot. <laughs> and she's like, Oh yeah, you look kind of pale. And then next thing I know, I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> and I have, I had like you have like great like wild dreams. Mm. Wait, so when you faint, you have wild dreams? I I, I have every time I've really? fainted, I've had like immediate dream. What happened in the dream? I don't remember because all I remember was Cory, Cory, Cory. <laughs> Did you go towards the light? <laughs> what does it Corey. sound like? Light. The kid from uh, Temple of Doom is waking you up. Yeah, <laughs> Doctor Jones, Doctor Jones. <laughs> it's a second Mister Toshi. I... <laughs> Very different. From it. Is it though? Isn't it like the same kid? As Mr. Toshi? <laughs> no! In, in the Goonies. Oh, I, I don't know. Dude, the lady oh. that gave me the ass shot debated me. I was so mad. Casey's well, working again. Why did, did she just like randomly give you the ass shot? Well, no, she like, she she put the needle in and I was like, oh, it was, was that it? Like, she, she put it in and she kind of just waited. <laughs> And then, and then she's like, "Are you ready?" And I was like, "Wait, what do you mean ready? You didn't do it already?" And then she fucking it hits the hammer, and it, it was like an like a rash shot or something. So it was a big like amount of like, allergy medication or some shit, and it just uh, felt like someone was shoving liquid into an ass cheek. It was the worst. That's like thing. literally what a shot is, right? Yeah, that is. Yeah. yeah. But it was so much. <laughs> yeah. Man, that was, I've never had that much in my ass before. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a special one. Yeah, yeah when they yeah, fill you anyway. up with liquid in your ass, it's just mm. uh, if you ever especially paint, when it's warm, you'll feel like shit for the rest of the day. I caught a four kilogram. I saw that. Oh, that's really I good. Really? I was very impressed. Yeah, dude. If you want, I'm, I'm trying to, to join you in Iceland, but I can't get. Oh, it's the honkiest. <laughs> okay, now that. I knew it was going to happen at some point. <laughs> Corey Sung, you know who it is. Some guy in your chat last night. He asked me like five times if Kate and I had consummated our marriage. <laughs> and every time, I never answered him because I was just like, that's weird. And he's like, yeah, yeah but have you? And I'm like, Wait, you, you say I know who it is. Was it Wolf? No. <laughs> it was... Uh, was it Dan? No, no. It was like Squid... <laughs> squid Wizard. Squid Wizard. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't... I didn't know he There's was There's always guy. a weird person in chat. Like, yeah. you don't just look at chat and be like, oh, yeah, they're all weird. Like, they're just normal weird. But, like, then there's the weird, weird one. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. that's my whole chat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not your whole chat, but but some percentage of your chat. My like, chat's I, uh, good. You guys are good people. My chat's incredibly normal. Yeah. <laughs>
Absolutely. <laughs> I think you just banned all the normal people so that weird is the <laughs> new normal. <laughs> it's like the person who comments on like girls Instagram things like very nice picture, very nice. And then it's like, hearts after. It's like, what are you doing? Or the people who comment on porn videos. Who does oh, that? Oh man. You know? He has such pretty eyes. <laughs> That's a very weird comment. <laughs> I always I'll like look for those and then I'll comment or uh I'll I'll click on their comment and go to their profile. Oh, it's always yeah. like really weird things, like a bunch of memes, but uh, like they aren't memes, they're just pictures of like random like things in nature and they're like sometimes the hardest thing to do is forget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, like, as weird as that is. Oh, 4.2. Sorry. Are you on a porn site? <laughs> no, but it you, wouldn't Then you me. click on someone's profile <laughs> in the following. Co- like, I want to see the comments on that. <laughs> At what point <laughs> like, do you become the creeper? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's- I think everybody would do uh. that. That's just like a standard, like, people want to learn about that person commenting yeah. the weird thing. Dude, I... If I ever get a negative or strange comment on Twitter, I click on the profile. And then oh, yeah. basically Absolutely, what happens after yeah. that is they get like four tweets to convince me not to mute them. And most of the time, <laughs> most of the time, those tweets do not do them justice. <laughs> Twitter is not a porn site, though. I think. Well, I think. I think. It, it depends it, on it who you follow. Absolutely yeah. a porn site. Yeah. <laughs> well, on one of your accounts, anyway. He's kind of like. The first, the first, like, just taste test of a Twitter of a Twitter don't, person. Don't is, call do they them have them, taste? Yeah, taste really test a... is a, Do they have an anime profile? I so knew you, you were going to go there. Uh, yeah. You don't need to go. I you thought. Don't need to go to their I thought about stopping you, but then I was like, "This is going to take a lot of heat off me." <laughs> just don't worry. About it. I have no problem. So I'll take the heat. That's like my role. What's wrong with anime, Mathis? Yeah, anime. Ask Ryan. Nope, I am out of this one. <laughs> I watched an episode of My Hero Academia last week, so uh, that's more than uh, I watched. Konnichiwa, yeah. friends. <laughs> and Domo Arigato. <laughs> there is so much fucking porn on the internet. It's it's, you're still on this. What a hawker! He's finally caught. I wish I grew nine. up in this era, not the era where when I did. I think, I think I'm. I ruined my mom's computer now. like three separate times. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I grew up when I did. Yeah, same. Yeah, I feel like I feel like having to like struggle too. to find oh, porn made me appreciate it more. Yeah. Oh, the it, pop. That was man. a weird era, man, because like like the pre-Google era trying to find you go know, like naked.com. <laughs> Were there <laughs> naked people here? <laughs> Dude. And then like tomorrow you can't get to a website because there's a million pop-ups on your computer. Yeah, Dial yeah, up yeah, porn. Yeah. You're Dial waiting. up great. You're waiting yeah. for the picture to load and to <laughs> see if it's naked. Isn't that a, yeah. an Enrique <laughs> like, Iglesias song? <laughs> Dial up porn. If you're if you're really desperate like I was, one eight hundred numbers and just listen to the two minute intro for oh, free. Wait, no. wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, that's bad. Yeah. Gonna load this gift forever. Dial up porn. Is Enrique Iglesias? Enrique Iglesias is oh, like. Oh my fucking god! This is a, an American is gonna tell me how to pronounce a Mexican guy's name. Dude, I'm not even gonna judge any of you though, because like. When, when we used to go to my aunt and uncle's house, they had cable, and if you switched to the porno channel, I forget what it was called, uh, but HBO. the porno channel. <laughs> yeah. No, there, there was like one porn often. channel on cable <laughs> that I, I don't remember the name of it. but Unscrambled um, or scrambled? No, it was scrambled. So we would just watch the white noise, like, dongs. And That's a nipple! Movies. That's a Michael <laughs> yeah. Keaton movie. I think, I think he's fucking her, maybe? <laughs> Who are you talking tell. to in this scenario, by the way? Mostly his health. Auntie. <laughs> yeah. All right, fine. Like, oh, grats, Robert, stop grabbing your gobble ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> Good call back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gobble ghoul. When you reel a spinner properly, it... Uh, it oh. You know what? You guys made me lose a honker, okay? <laughs> Are you just doing three hours of fishing? Dude, I was thinking, like, yeah. I don't want to be the guy who's like, nah, we got to play Scribble. We can just fish for three hours. That's fine with me. I I'm see. absolutely fine with that, to be honest with you. All right. Well, thanks for having me on, gents. I got to oh, go. see you later, man. This... All right. See you see later, you later man. Oh, yeah. two hours Don't sound of... so sad, Crunch. Two hours of... <laughs>
<laughs> see you later, Listen, Yeah, I just gotta go prep. So, thanks for having me on. I will see you guys later. It's a new record. Mm -hmm. see, uh, see ya. See ya. See ya. What does he mean, prep? D and D prep. I, oh, I thought you're not know. supposed to be here. Uh, well, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I gotta exit the game first, man. He's gotta go. He's gotta go comment on some porn videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Crendor, uh, you're probably the most. Well, Crendor and Corey are the most likely to know this. Do you guys like Kinoshita Yuka? She's the Who's Japanese that? woman who eats many food oh, items yeah, in a yeah, single yeah, sitting. Yeah. What the I think you would like it, Crendor, because it's like just this Japanese lady who eats like maybe like two hundred chicken nuggets in a oh video. Oh my god! I think I've seen yeah, that before. Doesn't she eat like? Doesn't she eat like a ton of like curry rice as well? Oh, she eats just insane garbage. Like the yeah. one I saw Holy her eat shit. maybe like a week ago, she ate uh. Like, basically, five double cheeseburgers, two patties oh, that were huge gross. patties, two pieces mm -hmm. of cheese, and then the buns were wheels of camembert cheese. And <laughs> she ate five of them. And the whole time, she's just going, mmm. And then, like, in English, it's like, the cheese is so gooey, it contrasts nicely with the flavor of the meat. And I'm like, you don't taste shit. This bitch is <laughs> crazy. What is this called? I need to look, look this up. Kinoshita Yuka. Kinoshita Kino Yuka. Oh, yesterday, yeah, there it is. Yesterday, she shit a Yuka. <laughs> <laughs> yuka is delicious. Yes, oh, um, my God. Yeah, I like Yuka, okay. Oh, oh, my God. That's a there, subscribe this, from me. This actually reminds me <laughs> of... I went to Fat Burger a couple weeks ago. Oh, dude, uh, I've yeah. never been to it. The one on there, Broadway? It's good. It's good. Uh, no, 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 one near us. It's kind of like, you know, mm. it's kind of like Five Guys sort of thing, yeah. right? Like it's, like, a, it's like a nicer fast food burger place. Right, but, right. I walk in, you know, and there's just like a family there, and this dude's got like a six stack, and he's just <laughs> wow. like, he's just like you know holding it like a sandwich and eating it, and I'm like, come on, dude, <laughs> like, the fuck are you doing? I think once you get past like a double cheeseburger, you can enjoy. Once yeah. you, once you get up to a triple, for me, that's like I'm not enjoying it anymore. I'm just doing yeah. it because I think people are watching. Yeah. That, that becomes a challenge. Double cheese, at that burger ran, hold the lettuce. Is that Bear? Oh, happy? Hey, Bear, welcome back. Oh, welcome. Don't be talking, son. No seeds on the bun. We be up in this drive-through water for two. I got a quaven for a number nine, like my quaven. Quaven. <laughs> I did say quaven. You heard my story about McDonald's on the uh, weekend, right? Um, I don't think I did actually. The one smile for daddy. No, oh, I did not hear oh, any oh, smile oh, for oh, daddy oh, McDonald's. Oh, oh my god, we've got a story. Not, this yeah, sounds like a no sleep situation. We were we went to to North Vancouver mm. to get we picked Whatever up some problem. furniture off Craigslist, and then uh, we stopped off at a Walmart. McDonald's, oh, oh no, which, I did hear this. Which but please is continue a to tell special it. a special place. I didn't even know those existed. Yeah, they're in like every Walmart. Mine has here. a Subway in it over here. Ooh. Yeah, it's it's all McDonald's up here, mm -hmm. and uh, this no, this particular Walmart. McDonald's was in like the back of the store and it was adjacent to the photo studio but neither of them have a roof because they're just they're just like right next to each other right well, they so have oh, they have the walmart roof yeah 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 you so you can just uh, see like okay. you can just see the the flashes going over the top and everything and uh we're, we're eating our food and we just hear like look at the camera dylan <laughs> look at the camera oh, why are you looking over there dylan Look! <laughs> smile for daddy. Smile for daddy. Smile oh, for daddy. Smile for daddy. And then like silence. And then why aren't you looking at the camera? Oh my God. <laughs> What's wrong with you? you know, like and then like they were arguing over like apparently I guess the mom promised the kid like a a tablet or something and he's like that's not fair. You <laughs> lied to me. He's like you're not getting anything. <laughs> I thought they were not talking up, to Dylan. like a forty year old woman. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but then like uh, we were sitting there eating and there's there's another guy at a table right next to us and uh all of a sudden you just hear like yelling and then a <laughs> oh my god oh, no. yeah. and we all like we looked at each other like what the fuck was that <laughs> like Jesus. did we did, i'm like i'm also picturing the entire time the photographer <laughs> just like yeah monka essing like the yeah. whole time like oh! 
But yeah, I don't like that. That's gonna be like PTSD flashbacks <laughs> to my childhood. Dude. To be honest with you, dude, I <laughs> classic. I, told, I, I think I told this story once a long time ago when me and Dennis went to Florida. We went to the Harry Potter uh, thing at Universal. Right. right? Yeah. And it, the it Wizarding was, World of Harry Potter. Right. Right. And Wait, it's a lot of fun. It's did you ride the thing that did, makes yeah. you throw up? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> but the line to that thing was awesome. Actually. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, but but anyway, so we did we did all that, and then we we were going down the 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 dia, dia, diagonal land. diagonal diagonal, diagonal. 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 yeah diagonal. Diagonal. yeah right, and um there was the wand store, so we go in. There's like all these all these different wands, and like I'm not even really a big Harry Potter fan, but I'm like I want to get I'm gonna get a fucking wand, right? Like that's gonna be <laughs> so I was, I'm looking I'm looking at wands, right? And uh, and me and Dennis are looking at her like, do we get that one? Oh, that one's twenty dollars. That one's thirty dollars. And then a da- like a dad and his son walk in front of us, and they're looking at the wand. And he's like, oh, can I have this one, Dad? And he's like, you're never gonna play with it. You're not gonna <laughs> use it. Like, why? Why would I even pay for that? And then me and Dennis are there like, oh, I mean, he's right. I'm not gonna play with it. I'm not really gonna. He's gonna you get dadded yeah, by yeah, someone I'm else's not, dad. I'm not, I'm not gonna use it. And then and then we didn't buy one. We didn't buy it. Wow. That's good. Yeah. yeah. You got yeah. proximity dad yell. I got they, proximity huh? dad. <laughs> this is so redeeming for me because I was like, are they going to talk yeah, about how this guy's a bad dad? Because I think that's how I would react. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you guys were like, then we made the fiscally responsible choice. <laughs> well, I mean, also, it is kind of a dick move on dad's part, to be honest with you. But. <laughs> no I've never seen anybody it. order something from the fish <laughs> counter, so I think you could take up as much of his time as you want. <laughs> No, but like, the, like, yeah, go on. Like the people who work at the meat counter, or like the fish counter, or whatever. Like, do you think they actually know what they're doing? Well, ask Corey. I think you need like a like if you're uh, a butcher. You know, know what they do? Right? Yeah, butcher is different. Oh. but if you work at the meat and fish counter, like, what do you mean know what they're doing? Like, are they just some random dude they got and like, hey, oh, you're 100%. working here today? Uh, okay. Well, no, no, no. Usually they're in the department, but they don't necessarily have much experience. Yeah, because whenever I think of it, I think of, like, some guys like, oh, yeah, I know all about meat. (laughs) (laughs) All you need to know is to put the meat in that automatic meat slicer machine that Mm -hmm. they have now that, you know, cuts everything. That's the deli. Well, that's why you need to tell the deli man, like, extra thin so they don't get lazy. Don't fucking do that. I don't do that. I would not do that. because, Because sometimes, at least around here... If you don't tell them extra thin, what they'll do is you get a, like a four inch piece of ham. Well, that's like, just uh, an asshole. Sandwich. Like, yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you get that, you go, sir, I said sliced, not a yeah. slice. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> that ain't probably spit in your ham. I mean, I worked <laughs> at a deli for like six years. Yeah, that happens. You've spit on someone's ham? No, I mean, not me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, so it does happen? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why I'm buying the maple leaf stuff from now on. <laughs> What's the uh, what, so? What are the rules? What what, what can't I say at the deli? Well, just I'm don't just don't annoy it. the fuck out of the person working in the deli. Like, oh, you know, it, it's fine if you're a customer and you you you're specific. But if you like, you know, you cut someone's meat as thin as the machine can possibly handle, and you're like, that's not thin enough. It's like, <laughs> motherfucker. I don't want to be a physical. Seat. There's a physical limit. To yeah. what this meat can handle. I mean, I don't need I don't need to see through my ham, but I also exactly. don't want it to be this, you know, the size of my fingernail. Or something. Yeah, or don't you know? walk up and say, "I'll have three pounds of shredded turkey or some shit." I always yeah. wonder, like, Fucking what happens? Want to murder you? People are like, "Hey, I'll take two hundred and fifty grams of whatever. Let's say ham," and then. They'll give you like between two forty and two sixty, and they're always like sad. They're like, "Is that okay?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course." I didn't expect well, you to literally slice the exact amount. That would be insane. Yeah, so it's a little yeah. bit of a game, right? To the people mm. working there to try mm. and get it perfect, right? Dude, there's a guy at the deli I go to. I'm like, "Can I get a half a pound of that thing?" And he always gives me a pound, and he's like, "Is that okay?" And I'm like, "No, it's not." <laughs> <laughs> double the amount I have. Yes, double the amount. Every time? How often do time. you go? Every time. Like, I don't know, once or twice a month. And Damn, it's the it same sucks. guy. And I always hate when it's that guy, so I don't even go to him anymore. I just wait till he's not there. <laughs> also, the deli, by, the, the deli in the store I go to, yeah. <laughs> a couple times, they've cut the meat the wrong way. 
How do like, you like, like, like they lengthwise? Come to hand, like, 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 like lengthwise. So I had like I had like a foot long slice of ham, but I had like I had like four or five slices in the bag. And it's, and it's not it's not something you realize until you get home and you have to unfold the meat. Yeah. <laughs> it's a one like, slice sandwich. What the fuck did you do to this? <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you need some prosciutto, you know what I'm saying? But Jesus like Christ, just like Dude, uh, ooh, eight. I had that exact same situation at the deli counter recently. I yeah. was like, I'll take two hundred grams of prosciutto. And the lady was like, Two hundred grams? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, two hundred grams. And she's like, it'll be all of this. And she held up like a pretty small hunk of prosciutto. <laughs> and I was like, yes, that's okay. <laughs> and that's how it went. She sliced it and then she gave it to me. And I don't know. I mean, it was just look at you stunned the entire time. I was talking about it with Kate and I was like, I don't know. This is like 200 grams is a pretty normal amount of lunch yeah. you get. Well, I mean, if you're having like. like- just straight prosciutto sandwich. You should have That's eaten it in front of her after you ordered it. That would have been yeah, the like, ultimate <laughs> high the whole yeah, Just look into her eyes while you eat the entire thing. <laughs> you know, the weirdest the weirdest request I would get in the deli was like, I'll have, you know, two pounds of liverwurst, and you have mm-hmm. the opposite people. One guy just wants a log. <laughs> He's like, oh, just give me, just cut that like one slice. And I'm like, yo, dude, you're my favorite customer ever because this is the <laughs> shit of all time. And then the next person comes on one on liverwurst and I'm like, can you slice it super thin and put a piece of paper in between? I'm like, dude, yeah, this no, shit that's... costs like two cents a pound. Can you slice this <laughs> <according> <laughs> to Why are you? Standards? Can you give me like four pentagons? <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, Corey, hear me out now, though. Sure. What if somebody goes up to the deli counter and he says, uh, "Hey, can I try a piece of that?" That's fine. Okay. I don't have the sack. You might get that. you might get the first dried out slice off the piece, but That's I didn't realize it was deal. like Baskin Robbins. How many You're, samples are you limited to? I mean, you know, well, within, yeah, within yeah. reason. There's no there's no hard limit, but you know, come it's, on. No, there's a limit. Come on, you know there is. And no, I think no, I free. mean like like probably anything past like two honestly is a limit. See, there you go. That's the limit. I'm telling you. But, but it's not like yeah. you know, if you're nice, no one's gonna it's like care. common sense. Yeah. Right. And there's like, one of everything, please. Mm, I don't like this. You know, like, all right, dude. dude mm. you're sometimes getting, you're some, getting the some, cheap, the cheap jelly turkey. <laughs> some, some, some deli counters I've gone to, like, I'll order, like, yeah, let me get a pound of that uh, Virginia ham over there, Mister, and uh, and they'll just always give me a sample, no matter what. Yeah. Like, I don't even ask for it, and that's awesome. Yo, Virginia oh, ham's fucking weird, by the way. Oh, I got a double digit. Let's go. Oh, What's wrong welcome to the club. Ham? Virginia, it's like covered in like weird red jelly. Mm, that's the Virginia. <laughs> exactly. That's the bad mama. <laughs> there are like people, well, they'll spend like 10 hours at the deli counter. Cause I know like the one time I went, I was like, I'm just going to get something real quick. And the person ahead of me was like ordering for, I think, 15 minutes. Like it was oh, actually yeah. no, thing. Like, uh, like, Can I try this? And then they try it. And oh, like, dude, mm, no, no. All right, give me half a thing of that. And then, hmm, you are like preaching to the choir. You. And all the all all this is a big boy. This is a big boy. All the uh, all the deli employees will commiserate with this story, where like someone comes up and goes, "Oh, can I have you know three pounds of your most expensive turkey breast sliced as thin as possible?" And then you're like, "Oh, is this okay, mm. ma'am?" And you're like. She's like, no, thinner, and I'm like, I can't go thinner. Uh. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go back to the machine, pretend to slice, and show you the same one again, and then ask you if this is okay. And 100 percent of the time, they go, that's much better. <laughs> <laughs> if only you knew, you stupid. <laughs> wow. Those are the kinds Jeez, of people that get some pent up And then man. one time, yeah. those words slipped out on accident to the customer, and that's why Corey doesn't work at the deli yeah. counter. Anymore. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Real talk, when I was in college and uh, we were not really poor but pretended to be, uh, we would go to like what? this ramshackle place for trivia night. It's actually like really nice. But we'd get there like after the people had eaten dinner and some of them would just leave like platters of nachos where they'd eaten the tortilla chips. And my friend and I were like, yo, there's some good olives and sour cream left on that. exactly where that was going. Yep. You mentioned that there was food left out on the table. And we would just like eat their garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I was nice. like, dude, those are 
there's free olives. You know how expensive olives are? <laughs> I'm not buying those from the grocery store on my budget. What do I let like the dollars for a whole jar? I'm gonna okay, let, let the staff take it away and throw it in the trash. Absolutely not. It's good. I food. think this is gonna be an arguable point. Is that is that safe food? I don't think it's yeah. safe. No. I mean, I mean, it's oh, likely fine. to be safe, but I don't think it's unsafe. Dude, we used to go. <laughs> I just realized how fucking awful this story is. So, uh, we used to go, <laughs> no, please continue. We used to go uh, Dunkin' Donuts uh, late at night, at midnight when they're closing. They throw out the old uh, old bagels and donuts and shit by the fucking store by the dumpster. They don't, you know, you know they're not eating it anymore. <laughs> Pick up a couple uh, boxes of donuts and bagels, you know, for free. It was great. Out of the train food. What you're saying yeah. is the raccoon thing. That's not a joke. <laughs> no, no. I, 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 seriously, yeah, I, I am a raccoon. Do you also do you pick it up with your front legs and then run real funny on your back legs? <laughs> okay, so straight up, like it it has gotten it, it got to the point so much so that like Dennis still knows this dude that works at the Dunkin' Donuts. Rob, how are you catching the tiniest fish of all time? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm like, with you, man. I've got nothing do. but point five all day long. Point That's... three nine. Yeah, That's like what am I? Good. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to catch the fish. I put them in, and they they do the uh, they do the thing. Anyway, he knows a dude at the Dunkin' Donuts, and that dude won't poison the bagels before he hands them off, uh, so that you can. And Wait, he's hand them he's off the, the only one poison that won't. The bagels? They poison, <laughs> because they poison them now. Yeah, they poison. Wait, what? what? No, they yeah, say what? they poison them, but they don't oh, actually they poison them. Poison the. Why would they go to the through the trouble? Because they run them up. So because if a homeless no person sense. ate a good bagel but got sick, there would be liability. So instead, yeah. they make <laughs> all of the bagels <laughs> poisonous. <laughs> yeah. The they poison them up. Probably poison themselves. That's actually. how you. That's how you limit the homeless population. Is poison their bagels. Hope they don't poison a live batch by accident. <laughs> Man, Jesus Christ, that's, that's what happened to Tim Hortons. <laughs> it reminds me of now. the Tim grocery bonkers. store I worked at one day. I saw the manager <laughs> emptying the recycle bin out front that was there as like a, a courtesy to customers to like throw out, yeah. you know, recycling. And I saw him just throwing it in the dumpster oh. in the back of the store. And I was like, you fucking scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> when I went to LA one time, uh, it was for E3, and I had to get to the EA press conference. So I was like, I'll take a taxi. And Whoa. it was an old Chinese <laughs> man. And he's like, all right, let's go. And we're driving. And we drove past a giant area of homeless people with, like, shopping carts everywhere, a whole bunch of things. And he was like, five-star hotel. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then he good, also good proceeded <laughs> to ask me what my five favorite Asian countries were. Oh, wow. Oh, that's awkward. What, what did you say? Me? I was like, uh, I was like, what are your five favorite countries? <laughs> <laughs> nice one. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. China, China, China. <laughs> oh, what a five best rappers ever. His favorite was Singapore. Oh, and he yeah. said, yeah, yeah. and I quote, they give you the best happy time. Oh no! <laughs> you know what? That's that's. I choose that to be wholesome. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Dude, I totally forgot about this. We were in San Francisco for uh, the thing before TwitchCon last year, uh, and <laughs> Wait, it was it was a marathon. Uh, oh. And okay. we were driving past what was just like I only could be described as an entire like homeless city on the side of the road. Oh yeah. Mm, and yeah. we were like, oh, this is sad. Like this, this is awful. And then we saw what brightened our mood immediately was a very old small lady in a uh, in a stroller being pulled by a large dog down the road <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. and she was just cruising she she didn't have a smile on her face this was just her norm this is how she got around <laughs> it was the best thing and that made us immediately awesome. forget about the hundreds of homeless people all around. <laughs> and then we gave them no money and walked away and went on yep. with our lives. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, there's no, there's no ocean? Um, I, I think that it, Penis Bay. <laughs> penis, penis Bay! Penis Bay! <laughs> <laughs>